Concerns are growing worldwide over the rapid spread of the Omicron variant of coronavirus. I'm afraid we're now facing an emergency in our battle with the new variant, Omicron. Governments around the world are having to decide whether children can be at school. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to address the news or the potential news and rumours about schools going into a lockdown and whether online learning will start happening again. So what do we know so far? Well, we know that the transmission rate is very high. So it's, I think it's the time game now. So after a few weeks, we will still know how much of that proportion is going to hospital now in terms of being really affected. And if that gets really high, then we're looking at maybe more likely you know, government government might step step in to to you know to, to, to take more drastic actions like last the previous year. If I'm a parent, if I'm a student, how can I prepare for a news that says schools are going to lockdown and home learning will be happening again? I would advise just to carry on as as normal because you have your you may have your mock exams coming up. Um, so if the teacher has given you a topic list or revision list. Just focus on those ones, uh, make sure that you fully understand uh, re those topics, uh, revise as much as you can, prepare for those exams as you no normally would do. Mm. So Absolutely, that's, what, that's the same message I would have given to my pupils, which is, it doesn't matter whether the exams are cancelled or not, because that's what, you know, people celebrate that news, students sometimes say, oh yes, the exams are cancelled, what they don't remember is they're still going to have to do exams because we've got the teacher assessment. So if in the event exams are cancelled, your teachers are going to be giving you the grades and they need evidence for that. And for that evidence, I know that we will do at least three exams minimum in the whole under exam conditions because the examining board has to be satisfied that whatever assessments that we use to give grades to the pupils, that they have to you know, follow you know, strict exam protocols. So they'll still do free exams, whether it's an internal paper written by us or an external paper given by somebody else. Even if the exams do you know, um, happen, at least you still prepare yourself through those the mock exams. Um, but I heard a news article where in spring they may be given a topic list for, for A-level maths. I've heard this so, myself. Tell us a little bit more about that. It's just for A-level maths. I have to read it again for, for more details, but from, from memory, I read, uh, I remember reading about a topic that's being provided in, in springtime. Um, so when, once that comes out, I'm sure <coughs> every school will be focusing heavily on, the, on, on those topics. Yeah. Have you seen the formula sheet that the GCSE exams... It's quite, quite brief. It's, it's, it's very brief, that's right. I mean, I, I personally I mean, feel that it's not very helpful. Um, I mean, the students will know can, those formula already. You can, you can kind of work out the topics through the fo through the form formulas, but then there's this so many other formulas and and topics that are you know that will be tested on. Um, and they're not given on the formula sheet. Exactly. So they're not given on the formula sheet. Uh, do you remember a few years ago the examining boards took away the formula sheet, but they used to give the formulas next to the question in the paper. That would have been more that, helpful than just having a formula sheet because at least... Well, maybe that's the indication that question regarding those formulas obviously will come up. That's, um, that, that's a possibility. So, that, so that's so, quite a good... That's a good tip for you guys, actually. Um, there may be an indicator that those uh, questions on that topic list... Well, not the, not the topic list, the formula sheet. Those, those sort of formulas that you've been given on the formula sheet may be that the examining board if there's external exams going on still, um, we'll be testing you on those. So it'd be a good idea to sort of make sure that the pupils are aware. So what topics are they? There's topics like, uh, I remember Pythagoras being there, compound interest. I remember Pythagoras, I remember compound interest. I remember Soka Toa was there. Although if you are, just to be mindful, I mean, if you look on the videos that I've got on the channel for trigonometry and Soka Toa, they use different letters. So make sure you familiarize yourself with the letters. I remember also compound interest, they use the compound interest formula uh, for the multiplier, um, which I felt was quite, was quite complicated. So just bear in mind, uh, you don't have to use their formulas or their methods or their letterings. Uh, if you're used to a particular way, then you could use that. What about parents? I mean, lots of parents have um, contacted me from time to time during the last few days, and they're so, so concerned about home learning, because I, I just imagine how drag it must have been, how difficult it must have been for them as parents to get their kids to work at home. So what advice can we give uh, to the parents? Every, every home is different. I mean, 
if if there's only one kid in the house, obviously they'll have more time on the computer. If they're sharing with more siblings, you have to manage that time. Um, I think it's having a plan in place, having a schedule in place uh, to add in that home learning in that schedule mm. into your day to day life, um, and to make sure that you you know to stick to as much as much as you can. Yeah. Um, and obviously have some you know breaks in, in between and uh, to to. to Definitely, relax. definitely. The, the, those breaks are really important because if, if you're a student and you're just crammed in your room for hours on end doing work, it's not good for the health. Mentally, it's going to you know, be really draining and uh, you, know, you can't learn everything in one go. Yeah? There's a saying that I always say to my students, when you learn something in one go, you forget it in one go. But if you learn something slowly, give yourself time to absorb it, then when it's time for that thing to leave you, it will also leave you slowly. And you know, you'll know retain more of that information for a longer yeah, period I mean, of time. What I found was really helpful is when you learn, learn something, try to teach someone else. That really helps me, you know, as a teacher as well, it helps right, me yeah. understand Absolutely. You know, topics a lot better. Absolutely. So maybe, you know, like friends, you know, if you've got people from the same class or the same set, if you've learned something, try to teach somebody else, you know, over the phone or you go visit their houses. Quiz Provide them. Give them, give them questions. Quiz them, send, yeah. Send, send, right. send them a question that you've done, see if they can do it, and then help them, you know, how to sort, sort you know, work through those problems. Actually, there's another saying I, I used to say to my kids as well. I say, when you learn something, you learn maybe 70% of it. But when you teach something, that's when you truly learn something. You learn 100% of something. It's very important to remember that we are in this together. Um, the Mass Coach team is always there for you guys uh, we will create special videos that you need specific videos make sure you you know write to us in the comments uh, otherwise we won't know people write to us in various ways uh, we've got uh, various social media feeds that you can follow i know on instagram we're on there um, at maths coach official um, there's also the facebook page which is maths coach uh, academy uh, so you've got go on there and of course we've got the new website that we've sort of done a soft launch on uh, we will have all our videos and we're trying to upload worksheets on there. And that is uh, www.mathscoachacademy.co.uk. So do go and check that one out. Um, any last advices that you might want to give to pupils and parents? How should they you know, continue from here on, whether schools or exams um, are happening or not? I think that we have had two years of practice in that scenario. So mm -hmm. I think... It, Expect it to be similar to the previous years. So in a sense, like we should know. I think we get better. I think we know what to do. Yeah, we yeah. know what to do. That's right. So we know what to do. You know, plan as you know, as we, as we discussed, plan as 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 you know, as normal. I um, think the schools will be providing. You know, they've learned from our. We you know we've learned from our lessons. We know what worked well, what didn't. The two lockdowns that we did go through. I remember the first one wasn't. You know, we didn't know what we were doing yeah. a lot of times. The second one, it got better. And, and you know, if the lockdown does happen, I'm sure the schools would have learned a lot more from the, the, the past two lockdowns. And the, I think the service and, and the facilities and the provision of education, it will get better. So don't, let's not always be negative. Yeah, I think these wouldn't, things, yeah? Then don't panic, you know, just take aboard what happened and see what things you can do. Anyway guys, to conclude, the Maths Coach team is always there for you, um, we'll always support you. Uh, please do support us as well by dropping this video with a like, um, write any comments uh, that you might have about everything that's going on, um, we'll try to answer those questions. Um, also please make sure that you know, you've uh, shared this content with your friends and family, let others benefit from the free GCSE and A-level videos um, that are on our channel. I will continue to grow only with your support. And, you know, until the next time, guys, bye for now. All right, take care, guys, and see you soon.